welcome guys and welcome to a new guide and in this guide I will tell you how to make PlayStation 3 controller as your perfect computer mouse you can do this same on Windows and on OS X and doing this for on OS X you need a key mapper application you can get that from your app store so how to make your PlayStation 3 controller as a perfect mouse for your OS X I will show you this on the screen recording but right now I will show you how this mouse can be controlled with the joystick you can see tick 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 and it's work really well and you can use any of the buttons I have set this ones as the click button and I have set the main button this analog L3, uh, R3 button as the middle button so you can see and why I'm saying it as a perfect mouse is it can do almost everything with the what you can do with the mouse uh, with lots of A's and with more accuracy. In Star it can be much juggly and difficult to control but in end you will find out that it's way more easy to use than a mouse and you can like move it anywhere you don't need any surface to put the con uh, mouse on you don't need to put the controller on any surface you can just use it as a joystick and you can control your web browser pages and you can use it as a trackpad as well you can move you can use the left analog stick as wheel and stuff and you can use this for random stuff as well like for example let's browse some of the pictures I have on the, my left screen so you can see that I can like just go to left and right in this pictures using the left and right button and I can use the left analog stick which I have set as the wheel to go as fast in the pictures as can uh, as possible like so if you want to go quickly between the pictures you can just go and you can use the slow keys to go one by one so this is the benefit and let's go to screen let's go to some website and for example this is the website and if you want to move down you can use this analog stick to move up and down and you can use the mouse as controller and you can do that uh, at same times like you can't do this with your mouse like you're moving both things at same time so when you're going to use it two-handedly you can be way precise with this controller than a mouse can as I tell you before, it can be hard in the start, but it can work really, really nice. So let's move to our display, and I will tell you how to use the key mapper application on OS X to make a perfect mouse or a gamepad for any of the game you want to you you want or you play on OS X. Hello, Slamikum guys, and welcome back to the video so now we'll open our joystick mapper and we will make a new preset we have already made a preset for the mouse but so for this tutorial I will make the preset once again so mouse one and you can tag it red and we will add and you can see it says a PlayStation 3 controller has been identified and it is connected so what the first thing you have to do is you have to add a new bind which will tell the which key of your OS X will be used to represent what function on the OS X motion which keys on your PS3 controller will represent which function of your OS X or, or your keyboard or a mouse so we'll click on a new bind and we we'll move zoom in so you can see correctly and right now you can do is you can if you remember the keys of the PlayStation 3 controller, I got around 63 different keys, and you don't need to remember all of them. What you have to do is you have to go like move, you have to press scan, and you have to move the key or press the button. You have to move the joystick or you have to press the button you want to change or add an identifier or add a bind or add a shortcut. And what I can say is like you want to link those two keys or those two motion or joysticks so first of all what we will do is we will press R1 
and R1 is button 11 and we can confirm it by scanning it once again and pressing R1 once more and R1 is button 11 R1 on PlayStation 3 controller is button 11 in this configuration and we will go to mouse buttons and we will take R1 as our main click then we will move to new bind and we will scan and we will press R2 which is button 9 and we will go to mouse buttons and we will take it as a secondary key we will go to scan and we will press R3 which is button 2 I think button 7 I think oh button 2 it's button 2 and we will go to mouse buttons and we will take it as a middle key let's recheck it yes so once done uh, for example we did these three things and we can just close it and we can click on this use this preset and check whether we're getting the functions or not now so uh, now I just move away and I will press R2 and it works and I will press R1 it's working and I press R3 I got a shortcut in the middle key to move to display so that things moves around so now we will add a new preset oh oh sorry 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 I will delete this one we will go to mouse and we will click edit and here we'll zoom back we'll add a new bind and in bind now what we'll do is we will you can use the left analog stick if you want to to make the use as a m mouse or you can use right analog stick it depends on your need or on your habit or your anything you like <laughs> your wish so I'm using the right analog stick as a mouse so we'll go scan and you have to move the right analog st uh, stick on top first and it says it changed from button to axis and it tells that hashtag 3 and the direction is minus so remember the upside direction is minus and downside direction is positive and left is minus and right is positive so we go and what we'll do is we'll name it mouse motion and it's up and we can just speed it up to 15x we add a new bind, we scan and we move down it's hashtag 3 and it's positive now because I just clicked down go to mouse motion, we can go down and we go again to 15x we do the same with left which is hashtag and it's negative and it's mouse motion left motion speed 15 add scan right it's positive now remember sometimes this application gives some errors just make some right it does not identify the controller keys correctly so you have to you can do clarify that by rescanning it so we got now motion of the mouse and click of the mouse so let me tell uh, let's close this and use this so to check uh, to tell you that I'm using the joystick to move the mouse I will move this joystick on the option keys and it will move the mouse around it and that's tell you that I'm not using mouse because it automatically moves it away from these clicks to prevent any random clicks on the uh, settings and stuff using the mouse yeah can you can see I don't move it I just move it on the icon and it moves it away and when we will do it it will tell you that and you will notice it uh, by your own so go back to add it now what we'll do is we will add and now we'll use the left analog stick up <coughs> up to make the wheel motions so up and 15 will scan will plus scan down wheel down 15 new scan left left so down yeah did you notice that it took uh, the excess wrongly like hashtag one hashtag zero so I just ref 
we scanned it corrected and now we will do to the now motion and left add scan right wheel right 15 so now once you have added the wheel now you can check your wheel and you can add wheel step as well which is very important in some stuff like for example I'm using this images to tell you that how the wheel works so once I use wheel analog uh, it will move like really fast oops let me turn it on Vroom. like you can't control its speed by moving the analog little or slowly because it will move really fast even you press it really light because it's taking order as a wheel motion it's not taking it as slow or fast so what to make uh, how to scroll between these files slowly using the PlayStation 3 controller is we go back to joystick mapper and we open our settings once again and oh my god this Android and now here we'll zoom back now here we will add few buttons which is left key of the keypad uh, trackpad of the place in which is seven key you can just check it again it's seven and we will take it wheel step and we can take it left we can add new bind scan right button five wheel step right and now you can see it does not show any uh, speed of scroll because it's step it will work only once once you press it like buttons tick tock tick tock and we'll go down we'll step down scan up we'll step up and we are almost done uh, with our perfect OS X mouse using PlayStation 3 controller. Now we'll redo that picture stuff and we open our files. Now you can see I can just move stepping between up and down like we can use our OS X mouse wheel by stepping and we can go fast with this and we can go and now if I open an internet explorer if you will press the step buttons up and down it, it will go with steps like you can see it's going with some sh uh, rigid motion of going down up and down and if you'll use wheel it will be have a smooth motion around the picture and same with the mouse and you can use the R1 as a click or R2 as a left click and uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops, go 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 down. Yeah. So I'm um, okay. I just changed the settings that was a little weird and using. So let's click over here and close this. And look at you uh, you can use R2 and you can add any more shortcuts you want to add with your key mapper to your mouse. So that's all with how to make you can just increase the speed. Right now I'm using a really slow speed for the motion. Uh, my main mouse is this one so now you can see this change in the speed and that's all for your perfect mouse for your OS X and perfect PlayStation 3 mouse on your Windows or OS X I right now did on OS X that's all oh my god that's all thanks for watching this video guys if you liked it please give a thumbs up if you disliked it Please give a thumbs down. Let me know what mistakes I did. And if you want to thank me for this video, please give please subscribe to my channel and share this video. Hope all hope you all liked it. Hope this video helped. Meet you in the very next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.